guys back again for another one um in this one i'm just going to be answering questions i get asked a lot again and especially at work and this one is um light lure fishing setups people are really aren't really that sure on what to buy when they want to buy like a a light lure setup um everyone i talk to and when i first go to them and yeah they're going through picking out rods and reels Everyone's trying to pick out heavier rods and reels, really short, stiff, heavy. I'm not sure why, so I just thought I'd just do a bit of a video on, a, on what type of outfit you should be looking for when you want to buy a, a light lure fishing setup. Okay, the outfits I'm going to show you here aren't the cheap ones, they're not cheap. You guys, a lot of you guys know me, these are quite expensive outfits. But I'm just going to show you the type of rods and the size of the reels and talk about how heavy a braid. Um, to start off with and shimano and Dolwa both make nice little combos for lure fishing around 100 150 180 dollar mark which it and they're just they're not they're not cheap junk they're nice little outfits to start off with just to start start your lure fishing career and have a bit of fun so we'll just get straight into it here guys okay uh i get asked a lot about a lot of people want to go chase flathead on the flats Walking around in the rivers and the canals, chasing mainly flathead and a few brim and a few whiting, okay? So we'll start off with the outfits I've got here. As I show the people in the shops, always looking around about a 2,500 size reel, okay? A little spin reel, about 2,500 in size. So they're quite small and they're nice and light. You'll see, the 2,500, you'll see it's written on the side, okay? That one there is actually a 3,000, but I only chose that one because a 3,000 and 2,500, they're both the same size reel, but 3,000's got a deeper spool, so a bit more line capacity. I chose this for line capacity because I just wanted to fish light for big fish and hold the line. Same size reel, so basically 2,500, 3,000, but mainly 2,500 you want to look for. Okay, a nice small light reel, and the rods, you don't need big long rods to walk around off the shore or even from boats for long distance casting. A well balanced outfit, in other words, rod reel line, well balanced, the nice leader on it, all balanced up, will cast a hell of a long way. Okay? So this outfit here, this is a Vanford. I went for I went for a Vanford because it's one of the lightest reels on the market. And when you're out lure fishing, generally you're out for a few hours and you're doing a lot of casts. So if you've got a heavy reel and a heavy rod, you get tired it's a bit awkward and you, you feel that on your wrist and your wrist gets sore but when you step up and buy something like a Vanford very light and this is I matched up with a Zodius rod also a very light outfit very very light I can fish this with this for hours and hours and hours okay it's just casting it's just a really nice light outfit and this one's one of my this is probably my main one for plastics so I use plastics as you can see here I've got that live target little prime thing i wanted to have a cast of it the other day just to see what it looked like in the water look good in the water i'm just i can't wait to get and use it for real but anyway this is my this is mainly i bought for plastics and when i'm talking about plastics with this okay i usually just run a grub tail grub tails work really well for me and this is a really easy lure so they're like a five inch grub tail okay and the head size that's near a quarter so i'll use a quarter on a five inch I'm only fishing like a metre of water or so. And on this outfit here, say that was a 2500 reel, this is only like a three kilo stick. So what is it? Uh, it's hard to see if I'm pretty sure. What to say there? Line weight, so five to 10 pound. So basically, yeah, three kilo, three to five kilo rod. And I've got eight pound braid on this. That's an eight pound, eight pound braid, so it's in between five and 10. Eight pound, I've got a 12 pound leader. And then, like I said, I put like a quarter ounce jig head on, five inch scrub. I have a 12 pound lead on the eight pound braid on this outfit. I can cast it all day. Flathead love it. I can catch some big flathead on this thing. Like, there's no problems with 800, 900 centimeter fish. They take a few minutes, but it does it easy. Okay, so you don't need to go big, heavy outfits. Everyone's looking for 4,000 size reels, 5,000 size reels, heavy rods, stiff. You don't need them. Okay, this is a nice light 2500, a nice rod, this rod's what, 6 foot 6, maybe 7 foot this one, it's a 7 foot, okay, well set up outfit, 
And the other thing is too, when you're looking for lure rods, like I see a lot of people look go straight to like ugly sticks. And they're looking for an ice light ugly stick with a whippy tip, thinking that's a good, excuse me, good lure rod. It's not. You need to buy the graphite rods. You need something with a bit of a stiffer tip, like so. Reason being, when you've got a little bit of weight on your end and you're jigging, okay, you're twitching these things over the flats, you want your lure to do what your rod tip does, okay? So when you're twitching, you're twitching your rod, you, get, you can see the action you're putting in with your, with your tip, you, you're twitching, your tip needs to be fairly stiff. You don't want, you don't want your tip like bouncing, doing that, like bending over like you would with a soft, like a glass rod and ugly stick, they've got a soft tip. When you twitch, the rod tip would bend. The lures don't do much on the wall, they just look like a dead, basically a dead stick laying there. So you want a, a, want a stiffer tip on your lure fishing, especially soft plastics. Okay, so whatever you do with your tip, the lure does. So when you twitch with your tip, your lure twitches. You don't want it bending over. Um, like the ugly sticks and the steel stars, nice light rods, great for whiting and brimming and everything else, but they're more bait fishing rod. Okay guys, they're not lure rods, they're more bait fishing. Nice light little tip so you can see the finest bites. The graphite rods basically are lure rods, okay? And when you go to play with lure rods, depending on the brand and how long they are and the line rating, some will be fairly soft on the tip so you can use them for bait fishing or smaller lighter plastics and smaller lighter lures. And some will be quite a bit stiffer like I'll show you here in a minute. This one's just like a medium one, I like it. It just makes a nice all round good plastic rod. Okay, good rod for plastics. So, things like that, five inch. Even a nice big paddle tail. I'll still run a quarter ounce jig head on that. Cast them a hell of a long way. Get good action out of them. Okay. Um, another thing is too, that is a Zodius rod. So that's not the cheapest rod on the market. They're about $300. But Shimano and Dyer do make some nice cheaper rods. Like if you go look at Jules, things like a Jewel rod. They're a little bit softer on the tip, but still fine for plastics. Um, the good old Raider rods, been around forever. Not the prettiest looking rod, but they are a really nice rod to use, okay? So look at Raider rods. Um, also not an expensive rod, but great for plastics. Uh, okay, so, and you wanna look around, say, a three kilo rod. So look for, like this one, this one's like two to five kilo, or you wanna look for two to four kilo or something. Something you can put around six or eight pound line on because these rods really work well on cast well at about six to eight pound. And I'm not just talking about flathead either. Like flathead's the main thing I chase in the shallows because you guys know I mostly fish offshore. But with these type of outfits in case, you can go chase brim. Uh, I'm gonna say you can chase whiting, but I'd probably downgrade the line class and the rods. Like I'd, if I was chasing whiting of this sort of outfit, I'd drop the reel down to a 1,000 size reel and the rod, I'd look at a one to three kilo. So same sort of length, put a four to six pound braid on it, I'd run probably a four, one, a one to three kilo rod, and a 1,000 size reel, or a 2,000 max. And just drop it down, and then you can go chase whiting. Still have a nice, fairly stiff tip, so you get your action out of your light lures. And if you aren't chasing whiting on lures, you're gonna be casting around small stick baits and stuff like this. Small and light, but you want a small light outfit so you can cast these things. And this is what the whiting attack over the shallows. Okay, so drop down to one to three kilo. Uh, or, or two to four at the heaviest. And a lot of the brim guys run two to four kilo. So a little bit lighter than this. Same sort of outfit, you can run a van fit on a, say, a Zodius rod. Just drop down line classes and real size. Just go down a size. And you can use things like this for brim, whiting. Um, lighter rods, I prefer a lighter rod for squid. You can cast some small squid jigs around. It's all good, it's great. They're a little bit light for these sort of plastics, so you stick to say so this one's like two to five. So an eight to ten pound rod basically. Uh, for the bigger ones. And even with this type of outfit here, if you don't want to go flathead fishing with plastics, you want to go chase a future valley in the in around the canals and the rivers and the seaway, uh, and tailor, uh, queenfish, uh, tarpon, and you want to use like stick baits and things. Like these type of stick baits, this sort of size. Even some casting metal slugs. Once again, salmon down south, Taylor, Future Valley, okay? Giant herring, something like this. So with eight pound braid on it, 2,500 reel, two to four kilo rod. 
okay? Around six foot six to seven foot two is the usual size too, guys. You can buy them in two piece. Uh, one piece or two piece is fine. Okay, and once again, you don't have to go buy Zodis and these expensive rods. You can start off, Shimano do a nice one with their Sienna, like a Sienna combo. Excuse me, what? Oh. Um, Sienna combo, so you don't have to spend a fortune on the outfits, just to start out with. Just buy some nice, nice outfits to get started for around 100 150 And Dollar do some nice ones too, I said. And if you want to, like me, chase some, cast some bigger lures, for say jacks if you like, if you want to go daring for jacks for these type of outfits, or big flathead, um, school jewel and that sort of thing, so with bigger plastic, so a bit bigger than this, going up to like a three eight or a half inch jig head, so a bit heavier, or you want to go big jerk bait, jerk baits like this, or some big MMDs like surface lures for flatheads in the flat, even jacks, okay, you can still use similar sort of rods, just to update the line class and update the rod a bit. So for these type of lures, I'm still running small outfits, light outfits. So once again, I got a 2500 reel there. Still an eight pound braid, okay? But this rod's about six foot six. And this is a Loomis NRX, it's very expensive. But the reason I run this rod, it's a little bit shorter. And the whole idea of this one, I'll use the big lures on this. It's quite stiff in the tip, it's, got, it's really stiff. Some guys don't like it, but I think when you're using jerk baits and stuff, you want a really stiff tip. So whatever you do with your rod tip, you want you get your jerk baits really dancing around for the flathead. Even if you want to go chase jacks or something, you can use this rod and probably put a 15 pound braid on it. It's designed for it, it's 10 to 15. You can put a 15 pound braid on and go attempt a few jacks with some jerk baits or some surface lures, MMDs, or even casting a few uh, double clutches in like twitch along the edge of the banks a little bit deeper water. The bigger bibs. You still have to get upgrade the big 4000 reels, still running the 2500s, the short 6 foot 6 rod, but the line class is a bit heavier. This rod's rated up to about 15 pounds and it's got a stiffer tip, okay? So you want the stiffer tip when you want to use your bigger lures just to get the action out of your lures, okay? So once again, nice small rods and reels, they're not big heavy things, they're not 4000s, they're not 5000s, they're still small. Just the rods are a bit heavier on the tip, bigger lures. And the other one I've got here, I haven't got a real one, because unfortunately the old Stratic, I know it was a Stratic sustain I had on this, it died. I need new sustain. This one is like a six, what's this one? Six to 12 pound. This is another Loomis. This one's not a bad plastic rod, but I actually like this one for trawling. Reason being, this one's quite soft on the tip. Okay, still a six to pound, six, six to 12 pounds rod. I was running and I will be again, putting enough once again, another 2,500 reel. And probably around six or eight, I'll like eight, so I'll probably put eight pound on this again. But I use I used to use this with a lighter tip. I prefer a lighter tip when I'm trawling. So if I'm trawling, I'll have my little Xerix, okay? Or micro mallets or something for flathead. Just trawling, trawling small lures along the edge of the flats. Or well, if you're looking for a few, you know, Taylor or Trevally or something, that's just a small trawling lures um, in the shallows, I prefer something with a slightly softer tip. So this is where this one comes in. Six to pound, um, six to 12 pound, but it's a lighter tip than the other two, okay? So that one's a fairly stiff tip, so that's, that's stiff. That's a medium, and this one here is quite light. It's quite light, okay? So with this one, a little lighter tip, I prefer it for trawling. I just find I get better hookup rates. I don't like trolling with a stiff one. I tend to pull more hooks. So I like something a little bit more give. But once again, still nice and small and light. It's only a six foot six rod, 2,500 reel. We'll be back on that. Eight pound braid, 10 or 12 pound leader. Works wonders. And the other thing, I think I spoke about it before, but if you want to go chase a few whiting on the flats, which a lot of guys do ask, Go down smaller, drop real size. Like I said, go down to a 1,000 or a 2,000 max. Okay, and put about four, four pound braid, six pound max, but I'd run four pound, and go a one to three kilo rod at a six foot six to seven foot. Okay, and then you'd be able to go walk around the banks chasing a few whiting, casting little stick baits, um, little vibes around pylons and stuff with brim. Just drop down a size and put a light four pound, and that's just like ultralight fishing. 
and that's a lot of fun. And even if I'm chasing tarpon or giant herring, I haven't got my little one, one to three. I actually broke it a while ago, spugger. Um, one to three, the little thousand reel, and you go up into like the landlocked lakes around the back of the Gold Coast and the canals, chasing tarpon and giant herring and stuff on little stick baits, little vibes on a thousand reel, four pound braid on a one to three kilo stick. It is absolute great fun. It is awesome. Don't think you have to run those big, heavy, stiff rods all the time, even for lure fishing. You don't. If you're not too sure what sort of rod to buy f with what sort of lures or fish, just go to your local, local tackle shop and ask them a nice little, nice little um, outfit. You know, 2,500 size reel on, say, a three to four kilo rod and tell them what sort of species you want to go catch and they'll set you up with a nice, light outfit. Don't go buy these big 4,000s, which everyone seems to go for, heavy rods. You're just not going to enjoy it, guys. You're not going to cast very far. You're not going to have much fun. Drop down to 2,500. So a lot of guys, when I'm talking to guys in the shop, they look at me and think that's really small. It's not. And these reels and rods will handle some really big fish. Set your drag, a bit of time, a lot of luck, and just go out and have a bit of fun and enjoy it. But look at the light, light, lighter rods, the small 2,500 reels, from 6, 8, 10 pound braid max. And just, even with the bigger lures, you guys just go out and have a crack at it. It's, more, it's good fun. You'll love it. The kids will love it. If you do hook a decent fish, well, the reel screen, rods bend, and it's, you have a ball. If you lose it, you just say, oh, well, what happened? Go it again next day, try again. It's fishing. Um, anyway, I hope that little talk sort of helps you out. Um, if, you're, if you're a little bit a little bit confused on what sort of light lure fishing outfit or setup to buy, yeah, hopefully this will help you out. And even if you're down south, guys, these type of outfits, when you're like in the dams chasing the trout, same sort of outfits. Okay, uh, I grew up down in Victoria, so I'd be using an outfit like that, 2,500, around six or eight pound braid, seven foot rod, just to go cast a few a few lures, even if I wanted to put out a bait, but mainly lure fishing, and you'll catch some all sorts of size trout, from very small to very large, not a problem in the world, have some fun. And, well, I hope that helps you out. Any questions or anything, just ask in the comments. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, guys, I hopefully I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks, see you then.